As this map shows, the most congested segment in the Bay Area is I-80 leaving San Francisco during the evening rush hour. Um, if you've ever driven along that segment, you'll know how crowded and how slow the traffic is moving. And that traffic congestion occurs for over a period of seven hours where it's in severe congestion. Some of the other segments in the region with very significant congestion challenges, I-880, uh, connecting Alameda and Santa Clara counties, as well as US-101 in the South Bay, and I-80 uh, along the East Shore area of Alameda and Contra Costa counties. We look at congestion in two ways. The total delay, which is the, the delay that you experience when you're going anything less than the speed limit. And then what we call extreme delay, which is when you're going less than 35 miles per hour. Now that's critical because 35 miles per hour is the optimal speed for a freeway. That's when we get the most throughput or number of vehicles through the freeway. So when you go below 35, that means that freeway is beginning to operate inefficiently. Um, interestingly, when we look at the amount of delay a typical commuter experiences, we see that it's uh, just under three minutes of this extreme delay and somewhere around seven minutes of total delay on the freeway system. Now, of course, this varies widely depending on, on uh, the system user. So certain uh, folks are experiencing much higher levels of this, this sort of delay, others not so much. In, in certain parts of our region, there's lower levels of congestion. Uh, other commuters travel at non-peak hours and don't experience traffic congestion if they, are, say, are working a night shift. Um, there may not be any traffic at that time. 